Welcome to this Scratch tutorial. This time we're going to look into more advanced stuff, namely gravity and how it can be used to make a platform game. So let's get started. The first thing we'll need is something for our cat here to jump on. So I'll just go directly to the draw a new sprite tool and draw some decent platforms using the fill block and some green because I like my platforms to look something like grass, like that. Very nice. And then I want to have a few platforms, so I'll actually duplicate the platform by right-clicking on it and clicking Duplicate. Get a few more out there. Like such. Okay, so now we need to actually go to the cat and start scripting. Um, and when we're working with gravity, it's sort of like we let the computer do the motion for the cat instead of us. And if we're going to do that, we need to tell the computer at what rate the computer will actually be moving the cat. So therefore we need a variable. So therefore we go over to data and make a new variable. And this one will be called y speed because it's the speed that the cat will have along the y axis. Okay. Now we want the cat to move all the time according to its speed. So the first thing we need is to go over to events and actually create the start of the game by pulling out one of these when the green flag is clicked block. And we'll then complement that with a forever block from the control category. Put it right under there. Now inside here we want the cat to always update its speed or its position according to its speed. So we'll go over to motion and pull out the set y or rather change y to put it inside the forever block and then instead of 10 we'll go to data and use our y speed. Uh, we'll also want to reset our y speed to zero whenever we start the game so that it doesn't get ridiculous speed. Okay, so if we start this now, nothing will happen because the y speed is still zero. So what we want now is the cat to actually start falling when it's in the air or rather not touching the ground. So in, now we need to go to the control category and pull out one of these if then blocks. And in here we want to see if the cat is not touching the ground, so we need to go over to operators and grab one of these not blocks, and then we need to go over to sensing and pull out one of these touching color. Now there are many ways you could check for whether the cat is touching the ground or not, but in this case I'm going to look for the color. So I'm just clicking the blue color here that's already there, go over to the green inside the screen and press it, and then it takes that color and we can push, push this block into the not block and put that one into the if then block and we then have a block saying if the cat is not touching green then what should happen then? well we want it to increase its speed downwards so I'll go back to data and I'll take one of these change the y speed with and put it inside of this if statement now one is actually that will cause the cat to go upwards we can look at what that looks like starting the simulation the cat flies away but we want it to go downwards so we'll change the one for a minus one as such and now we have a falling cat the only thing now is that we want the cat to actually stop when it hits the ground so we'll go to control and grab another if then block and inside that we'll put go back to sensing and put in one of these touching colors again only this time we will actually let it just check whether it's touching the color. And this time we want to go to data and set our Y speed to zero. And let's see if this works. There you go. The cat can be lifted up and it will then fall down. And when it touches the ground, it will actually get a Y speed zero, which will cause it to stop. Now, if we want to control this a little further, we can go over to events and grab one of these when I press space bar and go over to data again and just set the y speed push it together with it when I press the space bar and give it some speed upwards like let's say 20 and then start the game and see what happens when I press the space bar there you go a jumping cat and uh, now it's your turn to create your platform game